Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm standing today by my uh, power meter, uh, my light pole that feeds power to my house and the meter that goes with it uh, as a visual aid to talk about electric tractors and also about autonomy. And I want to get your opinion today. So at the end of this video, if you don't mind to put a comment in, I'd really appreciate it because I'm curious what you think. And to give you a little background why I'm talking about this, I had the opportunity last week to go to Brim Tractor at four of their stores in Washington and Oregon. They had customer appreciation days and I got to appear there and that was awesome. I really appreciate the opportunity to do that. And I thank all of you that came out to see me. It was great to meet some of my viewers. While I was out there, I, I observed a few things about the Pacific Northwest. And if you've never been there, the Oregon Washington coast is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. If, if you haven't been there, go. But I noticed three things about that area that are different from where I am. Number one, it's about 20 degrees cooler out there in the summer, and that was awfully nice. It's 100 degrees right now where I stand, a little bit uncomfortable. Number two, out there they don't have near the roadkill or the flies that we have. Don't know why, but not having to fight flies and be outside in 20 degree cooler temperature was awesome. And the third thing I noticed is they have embraced electric cars a lot more than we have. In the Ozarks, where I'm from in Missouri, if you see a Tesla, it's a little bit of an anomaly. In the Pacific Northwest, where we were, about one out of 25 or 30 cars is a Tesla, an electric car. And there are charging stations around for them, and, and it's, it's not uncommon to see them. And there's, I know other brands of cars out there that are electric, and I was probably seeing them too and just didn't know what, what to look for, but the Teslas are electric, and we saw a bunch of them. And it made me rethink how this electric technology is taking over traditional areas where the internal combustion engine dominated. Also, while I was out there at Brim Tractor, I was at four of their locations, I actually saw my first electric tractor. And that was interesting. It was a tractor about the size most of us own, a compact tractor, with a front end loader on it. And it made me think, is this technology that far away? I don't know. And Dan Brim is the owner of Brim Tractor, and we had a long talk about electric tractors and also about autonomy. And I wanted to get your opinion about these today, because every now and again, I like to do a video where I ask my viewers opinion, because that's the best way to find out what people think. Now, getting the politics out of it, uh, there's a lot, a lot of politics involved in the electric car issue. I get that, the Green New Deal and all that's pretty controversial. But I also know there's a bunch of you that don't like these new compact tractors with the diesel engines that have got all the smog stuff on them. And I hear people say, I, I don't want to buy a new tractor. It's got all of that stuff on it. Well, there's now an option out there, depending on what size you want, of an electric tractor that has none of that. And I'm an internal combustion engine guy. I grew up in the 70s when we all had hot cars. I've still own a 1968 Ford Torino that I'm going to get restored one of these days, and it's going to have a V8 engine in it. But this technology is coming, and the truth of the matter is, these electric engines are more efficient, have fewer moving parts than our internal combustion engines do. Now, the problem with them, and I, I hear a lot of you saying this, the battery technology is not quite where we'd like it to be yet. You see horror stories of a Tesla caught on fire and it took 45 million gallons of water to put the fire out. If they catch on fire, that's bad. They make a hot fire, and that, that's a little scary. But there's a lot of people working on new technology for storing energy, new batteries. And when they get that here, that may revolutionize that whole thing. So question I have for you today, if you had the option of buying a compact tractor with a loader and everything you want that was electric, would you, would you do it and get rid of all that smog stuff you've been complaining about? Part two of that question is what would you be willing to spend for that if it were 20,000 more would you buy, 10,000 more, 5,000? Where is the price point where you'd go electric versus going internal combustion? That's question number one. The second question I'm interested in, in knowing from you, and I talked to Dan Brim, the owner of Brim Tractor, extensively about this, and he has a different opinion than I do. I'm interested in autonomy. Autonomy, in other words, I don't have to be on that tractor. I've got it out in the field doing its job or something like it out doing its job, and I'm not out there. 
in the row crop world, all of the major tractor manufacturers are working on autonomous tractors, tractors with no drivers. And the technology is just right there to get there. Now the state of California had a ruling that really clipped the wings of autonomy in tractors. It basically said that you've got to have a driver with the tractor until the technology gets to another level. So that was really a blow to the autonomous tractor industry. Where that puts us back to is we already have GPS in a lot of the big tractors and combines and it can, it can navigate within millimeters of where it needs to be. So it can plant straight rows all the way down. It can maximize your fertilizer use and all that. We have that already. The next step from that is having no driver in there. But you still, right now, at least in California, you have to have a driver. But where I'm wondering if we're headed, and Dan Brim doesn't think that we'll live long, I'll live long enough, or he will, long enough to see this. But what I do the most of with my tractor is brush hog. I'll get out in the pasture and brush hog and clean up the ground. And I also spend an awful lot of time on my zero turn. If you had the option, question number two, and you had an autonomous mower, or an autonomous brush hog, rough cut cutter, that could go out in your field and do the brush hogging for you, would you take advantage of that? And at what price? Now, I understand there's a lot of us that really enjoy the tractor experience. If you work behind a computer, behind a desk, in confinement all day, getting out on that tractor and getting work done feels good. And I think there's part of our soul that needs that. And so if you've bought a tractor and you absolutely look forward to getting on that tractor and driving across the field, then you probably don't want autonomous tractors. I get that. I was born on a farm. I was driving tractors at the age of probably 10 or 12, and I've done that. And right now, if I could send something out in 100 degree temperatures to mow my yard and clip the pastures, I'd be all over it, depending on how much it costs. So my question to you is twofold. Number one, would you own an electric tractor? What would the price have to be for you to be interested in an electric tractor? Or are you a no on electric vehicles of any kind? And number two, if autonomy existed that would get you off of that tractor and off of the zero turn to mow your yard and to do your brush hogging work, would you take advantage of it? I'm curious to see what you have to say. Now, the political stuff, let's leave out of it. Just tell me, personally, would you be interested in it? And at what price? Man, I've been in the Pacific Northwest and I have not sweat in a long time. And right now it's just running down in my eyes, making my eyes burn. Oh, well, you gotta love the Ozarks. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can do that by clicking the Mike Face icon and checking the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for sale for the tractor owner that helps support my channel. And here's another video you might wanna watch. Thanks for watching.